Ms. Lo Yan Ling. Chairman, the 24 kilometers rail corridor from Tanjong Paga to Woodlands is a development that has drawn wide interest from Singaporeans from all walks of life. It has inspired much imagination and plans and looks set to become an icon to shape new trends in land use, in conservation, in recreation and sustainability. With its strong potential, the rail corridor will really become one of our brightest jewel in the western part of Singapore and in Bukit Gomba. Last year, we encouraged our residents to take part in the public consultation held by URA and NPARCS. Media reports have highlighted some of the feedback. We are looking forward to the many possibilities that Rio Corridor will bring, especially for residents living in the vicinity. May we have an update of MND and URA's plans arising from the public feedback. As it develops the Rio Corridor, we hope the MND will take an integrated approach to land use, transportation and growing economic opportunities. For example, America's Atlanta Beltline is one of the largest wide-ranging urban redevelopment programs. The 22-mile loop is based on the formal railroad corridors encircling the city of Atlanta. It aims to ultimately connect 45 neighbourhoods and is now transforming the present landscape with multi-use trails and parks modern streetcars or light rail transportation and affordable housing. The Beltline has also, in its pipeline, plans to conserve history, to create jobs and to contribute to public health. Likewise, our rail corridor has considerable room for expansion. So I would like to ask, is MND reviewing government land sales in this area to capture or enhance the vitality of this development? I ask this because new residences or the introduction of commercial or community activities may release economic prospects that will energize the project's offering. In addition, the historical significance and the large nature of the rail corridor makes it an inviting spot for tourists to appreciate a lesser known side of Singapore. For all this to happen and key to the corridor's success is accessibility and also good transport infrastructure. So I would like to ask, how would the needs of transportation to the rail corridor be met? What are MND's plans with LTA? Can this high-profile development be better served with an MRT nearer than current ones? In addition, the residents living in the vicinity of the corridor, will they be able to easily assess its trails or features? For example, the backyard of Summer Hill Condominium, I just went there last weekend, the backyard of the Summer Hill Condominium lies next to the fringe of Rail Corridor. So the residents from 20 over condominiums lying along Hillview Avenue hope that MND will allow a route to be constructed so that they can have a direct access to Rail Corridor instead of having to do a big detour. They are looking forward to the upcoming Coast to Coast Trail and also the new Nature Park Network announced by MND and MParks recently. Other attractions that will be at the doorstep of the western part of Singapore and also Bukit Gombak residents are a heritage gallery at the old Bukit Timah railway station, FMB outlets at the former station's master's quarter. As MND plans the rail corridor's access point, we urge MND and URA to give close attention to how it can be reached by more residents living around it. Like the recent public consultation exercise has highlighted, the Rail Corridor is an important community space that the residents can share with fellow Singaporeans staying in the eastern part or even northern part of Singapore. So really, with good connectivity to Rail Corridor, it plays a key role in its success. And we are mindful of the need to also strike a balance between built development and the nature conservation. So we hope that with an integrated approach, and careful planning by MND and URA, this can be achieved, as shown by the success of other green spaces like New York City's High Line or the Coulevet in Paris. With its unique qualities, the rail corridor in Singapore will not only enhance quality of life, it will also create recreational opportunities for residents and many Singaporeans. It also has the promise of becoming a top icon emulated for its delightful combination of nature and biodiversity for history and vibrant shared community spaces.